I can almost imagine us having to have hazmat suits by the end of the week. I think this is going to be a pretty ugly week uh, in Parliament. It's important that the Prime Minister be as open and as candid uh, about her conduct as a lawyer. I will take questions from the press gallery today on these questions. Prime Minister, Prime Minister, Prime Minister, Prime Minister, Prime Minister, Prime Minister. I did not set up a fund. I did not set up a bank account. I did nothing wrong. I refer the Prime Minister to her August statement. Can the Prime Minister guarantee? Did she alert the AWU or police? The I seek the opposition leave will to table not use this any power of attorney. Let me assure her I, I didn't fake the moon landing. I wasn't responsible for the assassination of JFK. Please stop embarrassing yourself. It's just getting too painful to watch. And for the benefit of those following proceedings by radio, I confirm that the Leader of the Opposition was present at Question Time today. <laughs> Yesterday we saw photographs taken of the Leader of the Opposition's Chief of Staff holding a dirt file. I table the very fetching photo the of the Deputy Leader, Leader of the Opposition of the will not use and the Chief in of that Staff. Manner. In August, I have dealt with his... Ralph Blewett is fanning the flames, talking to the police and the media. Mr Blewett, according to people who know him, uh, has been described as a complete imbecile, an idiot, a stooge, a sexist pig, a liar. I think it's a bit hypocritical of her to now come out and try and smear me. His word against mine, make your mind up. Julie Bishop has admitted yes, outside so Parliament this morning that she met with Mr Blewett. It was on the route that I was taking. I stopped by. It was almost like she was walking past a coffee shop and, oh, Mr Blewett, we'll just have a little chat. Does he seem when... like a trustworthy character to you? No, he's a self-confessed fraudster. The mastermind of the slush one was Bruce Wilson. Ralph had been accumulating the money at his place. And I know this sounds crazy, but he had been packaging it up and burying it in his backyard. I was just picturing in my mind the idea of uh, Julia Gillard coming home and saying, hello, darling, and him saying, hello, sweet pea. And what's Ralph up to in the backyard? Oh, he's just burying some money. I mean, <laughs> what is going on? Oh, good oh, well done. How can the Prime Minister rule out receiving any cash or benefit at any time from these accounts? Why doesn't he have the guts to get up and ask a question? She and Wilson and Blewett wanted to hide from the AWU the fact that an unauthorised entity was being set up to siphon funds through it for their benefit. That's what I said. Were they siphoned off profits for their benefit and referring Wilson to and three Blewett. people? No, you I did not. Me. No, I didn't. Julie Bishop's position as Renovated Deputy Party Leader of the Opposition Deputy. is simply untenable. Tony Abbott has seized on new documents from Julia Gillard's time as a lawyer in the early 90s. Her position is entirely untenable. They think they've got a smoking bazooka going on here, but when they pull the trigger, what they've got is a pop gun. <laughs> for a law partner uh, to make false representations to the Corporate Affairs Commission, well, uh, uh, that would appear to be in breach of the law. This morning he went out and accused me of a crime. Back it up or shut up. Tony Abbott accepted the challenge but failed to produce evidence to convict. I listened with some degree of interest and then got bored again. And the Australian people are thoroughly sick of it. Well, happy Christmas to you, Craig. A Merry Christmas to both of you. I wish Merry Craig Christmas a happy Christmas to you, and he didn't Tony. reciprocate, but happy Christmas to you, I hope to you, you have a lovely Christmas. Have a good Christmas. 